Good morning, good morning, good morning. You ready, baby? I'm ready. <laughs> it's cafecito time. I already drank my coffee, but... Uh, I didn't. Well, I almost, I'm almost done. Okay, y'all, so I wanted to show y'all these cups. We need y'all to vote. Leave the comments below. So I, we kind of found these tumblers. Of course, I had to get a pink one, right? Because why mm -hmm. wouldn't I? Um, we're thinking these might be cafecito time tumblers. And we'll have a non-pink version. And we'll have a non-pink version. But for those, if there's females that don't like pink either, just so you know. Okay. So what other color should we get? If let not us pink? know, let us know, let us know. Welcome everybody to Cafecito Time. Inhale the good stuff. Exhale the bull stuff. You know Cheers, everybody. Something sip. So last night, my wife, in typical fashion. She decides to want to watch something very um, mysterious, controversial, and stra traumatic and stressful. Uh, my wife decided to want to start playing the Yolanda Saldivar about to be on okay, parole. First of all, I was against it, watching it at first. You were conflicted. Because I felt like I was supporting Selena's killer. Mm. Okay. And that's a no-no. Exactly. But I was... But I am curious, as I'm sure anybody who's watching the series is also curious as to what this secret is. So they're teasing that mm -hmm. Selena had, right? Because you're kind of wondering. And I only watched, I think, maybe the first 15 minutes of it, so I didn't get to watch it all. So hey, you've already she, watched she's it. She's scared. She don't want a Jenny Six Nine situation so where it's like, 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 I heard you was watching the Yolanda Saldivar. You was jamming the Yolanda. Saldivar. Somebody pulls up to the store. I feel like it's gonna be like OJ Simpson. If I did it, <laughs> right? That's the secret. If he, I did it. First of all, yeah. <laughs> well, they kept focusing on the fact that when she called in, she said it was an accident. I didn't mean to kill her, right? Oh, Basically, yeah. and so that was was something that she kept saying, and no one ever asked what her what what happened what was this accident that you so say happened you know well, what i'm saying yeah exactly. it was just she locked herself in the car they got her out she pretty much went to jail and there was no no explanation no story as to what really happened she had she had to hold her pee while she was in that car uh standoff for like six hours right she was in there i don't know it was a long time uh, my thing here's my alibi this is how you know I didn't watch it because I had my alarm set real early so I can make it to uh, the all men's Bible study. Right now, we on Romans. You know what I'm saying? We covering Romans right now. And I haven't made it yet. Uh, today was going to be my first day. What happened? I, I got up and I was like, man, it's 5.30 a.m. I was like, I ain't got to be there till 6.30. I don't have to be there till 6.30. And, uh, and then I was like, okay. Marisol keeps telling me it's going to be real difficult when you, when you do get back from this morning, early morning Bible study. It's going to be tricky because now I got to wake up sunny because I got to get Penny ready for school. And normally I don't have to do all that. So I was like, you know what? Let me make it easier on my wife. <laughs> yeah, right. Said, Let He's me make it so easier on my wife. Of me. And I said, whatever little rest I'm going to get in place of this Bible study, like driving and getting in the car and all that. I was like, whatever little rest I'm going to get, I'm going to make sure it counts because Jesus knows that this is a big week for me and i need as much uh good energy positivity and good rest because i am going to be at the improv this week i'm doing four shows uh friday and saturday so everybody that has cook-off plans don't worry it's four shows to pick from you can make it your cook-off pre-party or after party um i was talking to someone this weekend at my pop-up that i had shout out to state line uh, for throwing a great little pop-up i got my other ear pierced hello okay you came back with extra uh, and i was gonna get it's a, a tattoo red, i know because it's new Ooh, i just okay. got it done um i was gonna get a tattoo wow. but she was gonna come back just i didn't want to wait in line so and we were all hungry and mm. i was ready to go it was freezing my hands were hurting mm. remember yeah. i was like hurting the next day so it was outdoor like, it was outdoor yeah my hand and my my hands and my feet were just not Shout out to all the ladies that sacrificed hypothermia <laughs> and went up against the elements to go shop with her apparel. They did. Every time her apparel. I mean, I made a, a nice little bag, you know. Nice. I Ooh. ain't going to complain for that cold ass weather. I appreciate it. But going back to. <laughs> Shit, God, I couldn't feel God my hands, knows. but, you know, I made a little money. <laughs> you know, you're saying God knows this is a big week for you. Yes. Um, I was talking to one of my friends. Um, she wasn't a vendor there, she was just there visiting, coming to support. And she was part of the Valentine's Day one that we did that was rescheduled twice due to the weather. Remember that mm -hmm, one? Mm -hmm. 
so anyway she 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 does flowers mm -hmm. and her flowers these are real flowers by the way they're not okay. fake okay? okay so she said she had 14 buckets mm. of flowers because she was supposed to go sell these and make these at at the pop up mm -hmm. so she just said the 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 most impactful thing and obviously in spanish it's, she sound, it sounds way better i always feel right mm. but she said god this is your business the, you are my boss mm -hmm. like ceo ceo of my business please don't let me get stuck with these 14 buckets <laughs> we'll head and be the ass you know what I'm the yeah exactly <laughs> there's please a lot of buckets guys stuck with these 14 yeah. buckets of flowers mm -hmm. roses yeah. to be exact already she's cut. like the clock is ticking and so flowers. she's like oh my god and she said god did weigh and uh, all her roses she, were she was sold. like she was like god please make all these uh, husbands and boyfriends feel real <laughs> guilty if they don't come <laughs> my point to that was is 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 uh when you lead with faith in anything it's you don't you don't need to like really worry you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. my point to you is lead with faith so that you don't worry about your big weekend that's this, right this god gave me wisdom and, and he he you know he gives me energy and and uh and everything else so we're gonna definitely make it happen houston improv mm -hmm. february 23rd 24th and this is a sneak preview to some of the new merch we're gonna have y'all see yeah. the new colorway bow 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 the new era snapback uh, we'll have them on ChingoTheMerch.com as well. And then you're doing the Chingo Air Chingo. Uh, Air Chingo, yeah, the 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 Jumpman Chingo Bling design. We'll have some of those shirts. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. So uh, check out ChingoTheMerch.com. Uh, a lot of that stuff's going to be going up probably like tonight and tomorrow. Uh, if you order something, your order will be going out today and tomorrow. But uh, but yeah, just real quick, uh, I want to shout out shout out to Push and Win, uh, the law firm, who uh, I loved. I love the commercial. This, did you the saw it? I didn't see it all, but what you showed me, I thought it was really good. Well, it got even better. Shout out to Juan Perez. He uh, he did another re-edit where it's like even more dramatic and mm -hmm. funny. Um, so anyway, shout out to Push and Win. If you guys uh, are are in a car wreck or any type of injury and you need a strong lawyer, uh, hit up Push and Win. Uh, they're sponsoring the the show, so uh, very happy. Uh, you know. If you live in Houston, you've seen all their billboards. So I will be a human billboard. Um, I have a little H-E-B tattoo, a little uh, Whataburger over here. Maybe we got some uh, real estate right here, the little tram stamp. You know what's stamp. so you funny? Should be, you should get pushing wind across your neck. Right. Orale, pushing wind, <laughs> pushing wind, hey, carnal. Y'all go back after the show and be like, I won my case. I even tattooed <laughs> pushing wind on my neck. Uh, but the funny thing is, Juan, when we were, I think, on the way to visit your family one time, I was like, Oh my God! Literally, these guys have a billboard from like where Forty Five starts like all the way to like, and I was all like, over "Damn!" I was like, "They are really they are not playing. They're wanting to be in your face." It's almost like, listen, the way people they say you should be in people's face on social media to promote your business, right? Because you got to talk about your business to have a business. They're definitely talking about their business, and they're letting you know yeah, every, the yeah, like, every, yeah, every exit of the way you will know yeah. push and win is there to help you. Houston has traffic. And yeah, if you got traffic. You got time to look up at the billboard. Yeah, yeah you, you just there. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, man, speaking of uh, traffic, uh, L.A. was great. Mm -hmm. uh, knocked out a bunch of shows, and um, the people of Brea and Burbank showed a lot of love. We'll, we'll be, we will be back on the West Coast real soon. Uh, but, but first, after after Houston, we're hitting Canyon Lake. Uh, hit it up. Tickets on the website, March 2nd. Lubbock, Texas, March 3rd. Midland, March 15th. San Angelo, March 16th. You already know. Um, and then you're back to California. And then we head back out there like Ontario, San Diego, Covina. Covina. Covina's first. Okay, Covina. Oh, man, I can't wait because that's a whole weekend. Mm -hmm. So I get to settle in. I get to walk around. Um, maybe hit that Marisco spot we found. This last time we went, that was so good. That was very good, very good. Very we good. ate there like three days back to back. And did we really? Yeah, it was. It was very. It was good. like, where do you want to eat? Let's just go to the Mighty School place. Go to the it, school, bro. Because it was so for sure. <sighs> I know what I wanted, man. I've been okay. Right now, estoy a dieta, so I can't have this. But those pork carnitas, green chili fries from uh, Los Tres Cochinitos in Wilmington, California. Bro, them fries. Or we good. might have to try to make them at home or something. But like They're the fries. Oh, man. Yeah. So mm. 
That was a that was one of the highlights of my trip. Besides, All right. besides doing a bunch of podcasts and kicking it with a bunch of cool comedians. With Adam Carolla, that was kind of cool. Yeah, we kind of I talked mean, about it last week. A lot of fun. I asked yeah. if it was kind of like surreal for you, being that we used to watch this guy on yeah. TV, and now you're sitting there being interviewed. Mm-hmm. That yeah. was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but anyway, going back to the Selena thing because we kind of got off yeah. topic. Um, so, if you have any wonders or curiosity what do you think the secret might be what do you think okay so i have a friend who legit thinks selena's dad was the one behind this y'all well the, and i don't see well, why he, he would be behind thing. this here's the thing anytime she was, she anytime. was his cash cow <gasps> and his daughter you know it wasn't, I mean, wasn't just a client at the end of the day she pulled the trigger so what's the difference i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That too. that's the other thing yeah, yeah yeah i mean i know i'm not i'm not I'm not the one entertaining. What's the secret? You know, yeah. uh, you know, because uh, I'm cool. With Chris, Chris Perez, and I, I'm also a Selena fan. I want to be respectful. So, look to to chime in on the rumors, though. Anytime you have such, look at all this like, yeah, surrounding me every day. <laughs> every anytime you're gonna have like an icon, somebody that's like, like just blowing up, has all these fans. And then something so tragic. She was so young. Mm. Like, I remember uh, meeting with the lady who was working for Coca-Cola uh, doing the marketing when her and her team approached Selena and her dad. Like, she was still in high school. Mm. But they were like, hey, you put out this Tejano album and stuff, and you're like a local girl. And we we kind of like your charm. And uh, and they gave a, a Coca-Cola business card to uh, Abraham, Mr. Abraham. And he was just like, come on, bro. Like, we're... We're out here in Texas hitting the little conjunto bars and stuff like this isn't like whatever. And they're like, no, we're serious. Like we're Coca-Cola. We're ready to cut a check. Long story short, that that lady told me the story of how, you know, became friends with Selena. They were cool because they they did business. And she said, you know, the scene in the movie where Selena's trying to uh, walk in the Versace store Mm -hmm. and they kind of like are are dissing her. She said, that was real. That really happened. I was with her that day. So that was that was really cool. And, wow, uh, yeah. that's trippy. Yeah, and I'm just thinking about. Well, they were they did talk about. I did get up to the part where. <laughs> okay, you watch more than 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> I was asleep with my alarm set. You know what I mean? There's there's only like two more minutes. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna stop it right here. She like okay. I saw just just f- in good conscience. Is, I, okay, <laughs> the first season was damn near done. No, no, they did say about how much of an impact she was when she passed away. How like it literally. I was like in New Jersey. The enti- I- like all of Corpus Christi, they said, was mourning. Oh, like yeah. it no, was everybody. Like, and they said she had so many people at her funeral crying and, you know, leaving flowers and so forth. And it was like they're saying no one has been that impactful after, uh, like, when, mm-hmm. she, like a celebrity death, you know? Um, and they showed hers because it was people from all over because they felt like after her, also Tejano music died. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Would you agree? I mean, uh, there were a lot of changes, and I think that was a huge variable because you you have this void of this huge star, right? I remember I was in New Jersey when it happened, and uh, I think like I was in sixth grade. Yeah, I, I was a huge I was a huge Selena fan, and I was out there, and everybody because I was so homesick too. I was so homesick, so all my friends in New Jersey knew, like. If if it got if it got yeah if it got to do with Houston Texas you Mexico did write poems to girls while listening to yeah. Selena. How many of y'all? This is gonna sound messed up, but how many of y'all actually know know who Selena is? Just to make sure, like oh, there might be younger and, people in here where they're like, no, even 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 Penny knows who Selena is, yeah, and five she's five. Been, yeah. That's way past. Oh, yeah, yeah, but but no, I see what you're saying too, Juan. Because some people are like Selena Gomez or stupid stuff like that, <laughs> right? You got a Selena couple Selena Gomez, now. boo boo, not and, even. And, <laughs> ni le llega la luna del dude, pinky toe. And Selena passed. She was like what, 24, 25? I don't remember, dude. Like she's a super icon, and super, she was about super. to cross over into English. So look. She so, was starting to sell out the, the stadiums and stuff. Like, that. she was starting to, like, really... It was starting to, like... Marisol saw her. I got oh. to see her last Alamo, performance I mean, at, at the, the Astrodome. At the, uh, at the Astrodome, yeah. Astrodome. I have my... With the horses. Yeah. <laughs> I have Dude, the Dude, I love Javi's thing, joke about the... Yeah. The little the pamphlet? show, like, yeah, the pamphlet thing, yeah, the thing. that you can buy. Yeah, I forget what they call those. So, I was in New Jersey, and everybody knew, like, anything pertaining to Houston, Texas, like, Tex-Mex, Mexicans, whatever, because I was super homesick. And uh, and 
couple friends try to like you know roast make some jokes and stuff and and then but then right away the movie came out i don't know if it came out that same year or like the next year but next thing you know me and all my friends like a big group we uh we hopped on the mall van where you had to sign up <laughs> you had to sign up at the dean's office so that on a wednesday so that you can hop on, on a that, wednesday yeah so you can hop on that mall van i think like friday after school or something right because you had to go to a freehold mall so we went and saw the movie starring j-lo who was the girl from uh, In Living Color at the time. That's really all she had going. Uh, let's not forget that. Uh, that was her well, first big paycheck. Well, we all know she, she is here today because of the movie Selena. You want to hear something crazy? Like, if you think about it, because we're talking about, like, when celebrities pass away. If you think about it back then, when celebrities passed away, because attention spans were a lot longer and there wasn't so much distraction, you could mourn for that person and be like, oh, my God, I can't believe they're gone. Now, if a big celebrity passes away, Quick, you think that. about it for a week and then you're gone. You're like the next. Thing. Maybe a week, Juan. No, check this out. Like, like think about think about when uh, Michael Jackson and Prince they were huge, but they passed whenever social media was big, and it it probably should have been like the Selena, whatever she passed away. It would it should have been like oh my gosh, but it's just one of those things where it's like like big icons will go away now, and our attention spans are so crazy that we just almost instantly forget about it mm. yeah you're bombarded with information for sure and like for, like think about when biggie died it was like every award show you know diddy dropped a song every night i pray <laughs> when you win oh i mean Pac. when Pac died we were in high school and he we were, like he was in the hospital like on um like what is it icu and all that kind of stuff and there was only like one we i went to high school on the east coast so there was only one kid like brave enough to be like Man, I actually like Tupac, you know? And they were was like, oh, man, you're supposed to be down with East Coast, Biggie. And I'm like, bro, we're at a prep school. <laughs> <laughs> we're like 15-year-olds at a prep school. <laughs> Shut the hell up. So you're going to start being an East, Co an East Coast, West Coast battle yeah, there at the, at the, at the bridge-ass private school? Yeah, yeah. They were all like, man, forget JR. Oh, Why? Man, he said he liked Pac, you know? Oh, my we're God. supposed to be bad boy over here. Yeah. But uh, me and my friends, man, we would uh, we'd play that 112 song, the, uh, yeah, the yeah. remix. Oh, why? need to know and it'd be like lunchtime and we'd go to like one of our friends dorms that was like closer to uh where the where the classrooms are so it was like hey man uh it'd be one of our friends he'd be like hey man we got 15 minutes left at lunch for class it's like 112 party 112 party, 112 party. <laughs> and, we, and everybody had their tie like whatever over their head and, and, oh and it just running around the dorm but yeah, that is goofy, hilarious goofy wow. ass kids 112 yeah. party 112 party insane. we got 15 minutes <laughs> Wow! <laughs> on that note, moving hey, on. But it's always like you did go to a co-ed school, right? There were there were girls yeah, involved here, right? For real. <laughs> Please tell me there was other girls in there. In there y'all were singing to, oh, and y'all were... like, y'all not allowed in here. This is one twelve. <laughs> This like boys Penny, dorm. Penny said, <laughs> "No Penny, girls allowed." No, no. Penny put no boys allowed except my dad <laughs> 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 on her wall, and, and it was so funny. <laughs> Speaking of Penny, she's got this major project that we well, we have a project we now. have a project because mom is like, like, "Dad, you got to cut that out." Listen, and... Dad has to make an airplane for her to wear. Out of boxes. Out of boxes. So look, and I forgot to every go time we have a, every time we have a business huddle and we're like, yo, we got to ship these orders out. Don't forget, you got to do the email blast. We got this. We got that. But what Juan don't be knowing is we don't be disclosing like all the other stuff <laughs> that we be doing too. Because I, I feel guilty. It's like, okay, we're kind of going a little bit too all out for kindergartners poster i, I don't think so at it's all it's trying to take up it's trying to it's trying to cut into some of the uh i do have to go to staples after put, this. yeah putting up is that what it's called i do too i gotta print out some posters and, and drop them off at some spots oh well then i guess we can do that together but uh, we also we're also podcasting and other things so we'll figure that out on that note <laughs> am i rushing to get us off i don't know i kind of feel like oh theo who is very excited about uh being on stage on the 23rd and the 24th. Oh, he's coming out? Yeah, because uh, we let him get some stage time in Burbank, and uh, the crowd lost it. He didn't hit the stage in Brea, and we heard about it. Like, some people were wanting to see Theo Juve. Uh, so now it's kind of going to his head a little bit. And uh, he kind of like... But people... Ha okay, real story, y'all. I didn't know, Juan, what was happening. But all of a sudden, I was getting requests for Theo Juve appearances, bro. 
Uh-huh. So now uh, they're no longer requesting Chingo Bling appearances. Oh, I get to stay home. They're they're requesting Theo Hoover appearances. I get appearances. to stay home and we'll just send Hoover out. So that's cool. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting. I was like, why am I getting all these Theo Hoover appearances? Because you got to think about Theo Hoover in this light. Like, Mm-mm. the. So when people were like really rocking with Chingo, like you were like cutting yeah. edge and you were saying stuff that you couldn't say and all this other stuff. Now Theo Hoover is kind of on that edge and, you know, Chingo's making sure he gets the comedy in. So like in that realm, people are like, wait, we need toxic machismo right now. So like that's literally what's been happening. I enjoy his videos. I was laughing this morning and um, there were a few that made me laugh. One where he just started going off about a... Uh, that's why everybody calls you Toxica and, and you're single, Jam and Taylor Swift with nine cats because <laughs> because you don't because you're talking about the matriarchy and the patriarchy and and all the fools are like no me I mean no me I mal chinge chinge. My wife is over here working a little bit, but big announcement: we just got the flyer in for the Well Comedy Club. This is in Bakersfield, California. I don't think I've ever performed ever in bakersfield so i got a flyer for you california that's gonna be friday april 12th i'm just super excited about this uh, are we still friends tour so just really really excited to see the new uh air chingo merch like to wear it um it's just like after 20 years in the game Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like we um you know what I mean? Like I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm still a white belt mentally because you have to always have beginner's mind and you got to be able to, you know, take direction, you know, take direction and stuff like that. Um, and and it still feels fresh to me. You know what I mean? Because I'm there's new skills that I'm learning on. There's new types of jokes and new ways of looking at things and mm-hmm. and. Um, like a point system. Hey, man, you try a new joke, you know, this how many points. You rearrange your material, boom, give yourself this many points. Yeah. So it's still a really, really uh, cool challenge, and uh, I love it. So looking forward to it. Well, also getting in there and actually, um, you closer. know, practicing, like, not practicing, I guess, but like writing uh, I was activities to write. or whatever. What What is that called? I'm sorry. Why can I think writing of it? Sessions, uh, writing open sessions. Writing sessions. Well, not open mics. I'm just saying writing sessions. Like you don't you don't get up like you used to in the mornings anymore, and you used to write even mm. journaling. Mm, okay. Which I bought you a journal this yeah, yeah, year yeah. for Valentine's yeah. Day, so that should help uh, you. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a pull it out for sure. As soon as we're done podcasting and the other podcast, I did it to staples. start prompting those ideas. Is that what it was? Yeah. Well, I try. I was trying to write this morning, and I was trying to bounce ideas off of Mighty Soul, and she might have still been waking up. Yeah, I hadn't had coffee. Because I was either. like, "Do you not understand what I'm?" I was like, "No, I don't understand right now." Like I, I was on a hundred. She was still on zero. I was like, right now, I'm trying to figure out which cereal I'm going to give Penny because she really wants me to make pancakes, and I'm just really not in the mood. And I was really trying to convince. And it's healthy. Cereal. She just got some new healthy cereal that hopefully they could be a sponsor. Uh, so whatever penny left, I ate it. So oh, you did? Was it good? It was, it was a little good. soggy, but it's good. Right? I thought, I thought they were damn good. I mean, they're, they're good. Just knowing that they're grain-free because, man, right now. And on top of that, I, I they're not super sugary, but they still, they, you know, sometimes you buy healthy food and it just. And we're not going to tell you which cereal it's it is not until, until they, they sponsor. sponsor. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> It, it, you know when you buy something like that's supposed to be healthy, it either A, they compromise the taste yeah, or, yeah, yeah. you know, whatever. But there's still a good amount of sugar in them. I don't know it what they use. No, oh. it doesn't. It's I'm just saying sweet. like it's zero sugars. So I don't know oh, where they, might, they the natural. I got to read the ingredients. Yeah. And how do they make it colorful like that? Because that's scary. Uh, that they don't got no red 40, yellow 6, turquoise That's too. a good question because it is Fruit, fruit Loops. Free style. loops style, uh, all the yeah. boxes because you got like four or five boxes i got the variety pack variety so we pack. ended up getting like cocoa what would be equivalent to cool. cocoa puffs cheerios okay. uh what's the cinnamon one cinnamon toast cinnamon crunch toast crunch okay and then fruity pebbles but I mean, i'm sorry fruit loops um fruit loops must be the most popular because they actually give you two boxes of that oh, they got in that variety yeah for Maybe. sure either I one put some in my uh, chia pudding that we make oh Be- that was genius yeah I'm gonna because do that. uh make it like a little parfait with toppings because it's protein and we're on a diet and uh we went to the gym last night uh took we our did a little family session yeah took our 15 year old yeah i actually worked out with them uh marisol's a very good trainer and <sighs> that's what i was asking her i was like hey what you hit next and when are you going because I'm gonna see if when i'm free to where we can go together because she's a good trainer if you re- if you rewind to when we used to do what did he said together y'all 
you will find early videos of he and I just not being able to work out together because we just could not vibe. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, there's probably a few reasons. Uh, Number one, I don't like being called a pansy. (laughs) That might be number one. That might be part of it. Is you ain't finna disaffect me out here. Disaffect me? In these streets (laughs) right now with the economy the way it is, with all this damn inflammation. First of all, can you believe I knew someone named Pansy? Uh, uh, That was her name, yeah. Okay, okay. I is it just, a type of flower? I think a pansy is a type of flower. Is it? Oh, is that? It's, yeah, it's got to be, right? They, all these And insults. we just turned it into an... Somebody did. Like They're a, like, you a frail a, little flower. You a pansy. Oh, well, you I, a that's tula. not that bad. You're a frail well, little flower. You're going to be pushing up daisies. <laughs> <laughs> you a pretty frail little flower. You don't want nobody okay, calling well, you... I like pansy now. So if you're in jail or, or prison, you don't want nobody calling you a frail little flower. <laughs> that's the last thing. I did also watch this other documentary about people that are in jail mm-hmm. um, and how crazy they are in the jail in El Salvador. Oh, oh yeah, I saw and you that watching that. That was like trippy, yo. I be I like watch stuff security. like that. Like Chingo doesn't like to watch anything that I watch because he thinks it's that too one was, much. That one was cool because um, it wasn't all like who done it and um, you know, Mister. That was trippy and like. When they put the camera on the prisoners, like they try to mouth, like communicate. They're saying stuff into the camera. Yeah, that was a good one. Y'all should watch that one about so, the prison so, in El Salvador. So basically, the president Naib Bukele from El Salvador, he categorized these particular gangs mm-hmm. uh, as terrorist groups um, because he said y'all terrorizing the, the taxpayer, the innocent people. Yeah. So that little those prisons that they had built, they're basically maximum security. Uh, hardcore. Are they they're always in, in drones? They're always in boxers. Um, and they can they make them work out, which the workout is kind of interesting. It's like y'all need like a real person in there because it's well, you so probably random. Don't, you probably don't want them too strong. <laughs> it's a lot of them in there. I mean, I don't know. You know, like um, I always wonder about like the ones that they used for like labor, right? Mm-hmm. And it's just trippy to me. Like, I think we should do that. You mean like in the state of California? Yeah, like, how you use them for labor. I think that's a great thing for you to do because they're just a waste in the prison. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they're just our tax dollar to help them. So we're paying for them to live in prison. So so is that how it works? So um, taxpayer dollars pay the COs and the, and the so warden? So the prisons, if I'm not mistaken, are privately owned. Oh. But then... To house them is where our tax dollars come in. Like so what it costs. Like so to basically, feed whoever, them. Own, whoever the private owner and investors are of the prison, they benefit from our tax dollars. I don't know if well, they benefit. Man, it's really, really interesting, but it's our tax dollars that houses them. I know that because they talk about how much it costs per prisoner to you know to feed them to you know like when they get a, a GED or they get some kind of certification some of them get a bachelor's degree while they're in there and they become lawyers who help other prisoners because they're never going to get out so then they in turn start to help other inmates that they know they have a chance but mm-hmm. you know all those things oh wow uh does anybody know the answer to that let us know in the comments i never even thought about that like no but it is we we do house them that's our state our tax dollar pays for them to be in there wow. and it costs a lot of money to yeah. keep them house our tax dollars go towards a whole a lot bunch of stuff. of stuff yeah i mean it's going all over the place it uh, goes to schools yeah it goes your to, local uh, uh school go- taxes yes just uh-huh and then you know i don't know however else they spread this tax dollar for prisoners mm. but that's what that's another thing you know you also that's how Police officers, mm. firefighters. Mm-hmm. And then the city pays them, no? Uh, so Pays them do- like pennies. Okay, yeah. So That's a whole no, what other I'm saying subject. is like the city is the ones that cut the checks yeah. for like the mm-hmm. HPD. Mm-hmm. And then the city gets the checks to cut from a tax fund. I like guess. I don't really know how that happens, municipal. to be honest, uh, how that happens, though. But, you know, that's also how our politicians get paid is our tax dollars, too. The government, government jobs. Yeah. Like, I heard it's like three people got to work real and um, real jobs for that. You so that we could cover the the one government. Uh, person. And they get um, free insurance. Meanwhile, you're busting your ass to try to have medical insurance for a family, and it's like costing you over a grand. <clears throat> that cabron. 
And that's why it's such an important time to laugh and uh, <laughs> and be positive. And that's why we we enjoy uh, you know the jobs that we do. You know what I mean? Marty Soul is making people happy through apparel and jewelry and accessories. They're trying to raise minimum wage in California to fifty dollars. Yeah, that, that wait that dog ain't gonna hunt five zero. Yeah, that dog ain't gonna well, you hunt. Know, you know what they're trying to do though, right? Hurt the businesses. Hurt the small businesses. Uh, they're crushed, not going to survive. And it'll pander to well, for votes. Push people out. And then yeah. what is that? Your do? tax base goes out. Open. Yeah, your tax base goes out. Your tax base is going to leave at the state, and then the middle class and the and the working you know the working blue collar folk are going to have to bear the burden of that entire tax bill in order to keep the state running. Because normally, whenever you, you raise it or whatever, so the first like two to five years they cut jobs. Okay, but then like for like because then people can kind of survive on it. They're like, oh, we're thriving. And within like two to two to five years, it's not like, even do. Oh no, we can't. But I don't even UPS know how they cut how they survive right now. Well, on look, this minimum wage in California, what's so expensive? Like, y'all, I didn't even house Chingo in a bad. Ad. Usually, you know, we I get him an all right hotel. You know, I don't do him like that. Um, but what are you talking about? when you went to California, uh -huh. how expensive it was to mm -hmm. you know for a hotel room, and I was just like, this ain't even a five star hotel. L LA is like, and y'all are charging what? LA is. Uh, You're a motel, bro. Like, where are you? these the one are that I stayed at? You're no, 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 no. I'm just saying, even motels. Oh, oh okay, okay. Were like, because I was there. like, I, it was nice. Where I no, was no, at. no, 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 no. Oh. Of course, no. I that's I didn't put you in a shitty one. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But what I'm saying is. There's the motels weren't too far from the price mm. that we were paying for your hotel, and I was just like, what? She's like, based on the amount of tickets you sold, uh, <laughs> you was this close to being in a motel. <laughs> on that note, hey guys, we'll see you at Houston Improv February 23rd. If and If you don't 24th. have your tickets yet, guys, please go to chingabling.com, get your tickets out. Second show is almost sold out, just Saturday. putting it out there Saturday. Friday, there are still some tickets available, so y'all go to that one so that we can have all the shows sold out. Yeah, so thank you guys so much, and uh, please share the content. Uh, you know, that's that's uh, what we ask, so we appreciate it so much, and uh, we love you guys. Have a Peace. great day. Ah,